Tyron Wynn, welcome back to the University of Huddersfield. Thank uh, you. Yeah, quite a few years since you were here last. Yes, uh, 20, well actually, actually when I, since I've been here studying, 23 years, but I think I came back a few years ago to do a lecture, but yeah, a long time. I still look just a young man as well. Uh, yeah, obviously I've, I've kind of aged well, I'm now 21, and uh, no, it's, it's, yeah, it's, uh, it, it feels like a long time in one way, and yet the other in another way. It honestly feels like yesterday. But um, in terms of uh, your composition, um, uh, you're famous as saying that you, you, you've always wanted to do this. Uh, that is, uh, write soundtracks uh, yep. for uh, yeah. uh, television, since anything else really, films since, and what have you. Yeah. Since, ele age since 11. eleven, I knew. Uh, yeah. How did you know so firmly, at age eleven? That the thing is, I'd always, I'd always written, me, I'd always written music. I had no interest in playing other people's music, um, although I'd, I'd learnt piano you know, from a few years before that. But I had very little interest in playing other people's music. I just wanted to write music. And then I saw there was a whole number of TV programmes that I saw and fell in love with the music of um, of the soundtracks, really. And obviously, just wondered how you did that, why you did that, and I love the interaction between the visuals and the... Um, so, so how did you start then? Uh, you know, what, what did you first do age 11? Uh, you but the thing the is, at that and, stage, uh, yeah, at that stage, I literally would just sit down at the piano and just, and just write music. I mean, it's, it's hard to explain, you know, kind of why I did it and how I did it, but for me, it's, it's, it's like asking you, why do you speak English or how do you speak English? You, it, you just kind of do it. And for me, it's exactly the same. I don't know why I write or how I write. I just, I just write music. That's all. And so, yeah. I mean, what I wrote when I was eleven was rubbish. You know, it was. Uh, but that's that's how you learn. You you write rubbish and you copy people, and then you develop your own style and hopefully, maybe get better. And how does the interaction work with the producer? Because uh, chicken and egg, the. the uh, Filming must be done first. Yes. Uh, and then where, where, do you, where do you step in from there's there? A, there's lots of ways of doing it. You could either have the way where you get a finished film and, and then you write to a finished film. and uh, So you have everything on except the music and then you do that. Or quite often you can write uh, tracks to inspire the filming, which has happened, you know, that happens quite regularly. Um, or kind of combination of the two, really. You know, you'll get sent a script and you'll come up with ideas and there's, there's a kind of bouncing backwards and forwards. My preferred way is to actually just get a finished film and just sit down for two weeks and just write. That's my preferred way. Of and, and when you say sit down, you, you watch it. Uh, so you watch it with nothing at all and just the, just the words. Absolutely, um, yeah. Just, you, I just, just watch it with, uh, you know, kind of no music. Occasionally they use guide music, uh, which is laid in just to say, we want some music here and this is the kind of mood we want. But quite often, no, just no music and you just sit down and, and mess around, really. And uh, I mean, I know you've you've probably done oh, hundreds of pieces, yeah. and, and you, you won't want to upset a anybody. But, but you must have um, a, a particular favourite that, that's close to you. Perhaps it never won an award or, or anything like no, that. But it was the one that you thought, oh, I love that. I think it's not so much love. I think there are different projects and pieces that I love for different reasons. Uh, um, things there was a. There was a program called um, Pompeii, The Last Day, and the only reason I like that one is I had a, a car accident in the middle of it, a, a very bad car accident, and uh, the fact that I still managed to complete it with, with one hand of which I think I had uh, four fingers of one hand, and I still managed to do the project, so I love that for that reason. And then other projects I, I have a great significance because they served as a step, stepping stone career-wise. So um, Space with Sam Neill was a, quite a big series. And although it wasn't the best things I've ever done, it, it, was a, it was a creative period that kind of led to other things. So I love that. And for, so for lots of different reasons, I love lots of different projects. But to be fair, I never listen to my own music. So never. once it's... No, well, I mean, essentially, once it's done, I, I have to write so much that once it's done, I don't really get a chance to go and listen to it again. So. Every now and again, you must have one of those uh, spooky little moments where you hear something. Oh, all that the you, time. That, you know, ten years ago, uh, you put together or something like that. And how does it sound then? Do you so, well, it's uh, most of the time it's yeah. Because I mean, occasionally, because of the way contracts and, and publishing works, you know, that music can be used in other projects. So I'll I'll watch 
a piece of television and I'll suddenly think, I recognize that. Uh, and it's, it's, you know, it's fine. I mean, it, most of the time, it's absolutely fine. Occasionally, you sit there and cringe, but that's the whole point of hopefully progressing and getting better, that you've, you're meant to cringe at what you did 10 years ago. Um, I think, or maybe that's just me. <laughs> The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.